I am Jeffrey Villahardwani in the 4.1 version of the Italian Wars. This is the latest or last working version. I am in a campaign uh, of Florence and in this particular case I am besieged in Genoa by the French and uh, the Milanese, our allies, have come to our aid as well as a relief force under Hauptmann Alessandro, Captain Alessandro. Uh, the actual garrison is very small, so Captain Alessandro is coming, you can see him in the minimap. And uh, he is on the green, on the left, uh, lower left uh, hand corner. You can see now here the Milanese. The Milanese are attacking with their uh, crossbowmen. The enemy have ladders at the walls. Repel the attackers. Give them steel. And uh, the enemy general's bodyguard is about to charge the crossbowmen. And you will see the uh, friendly allied AI doing a ton of silly, useless moves, uh, hopeless decisions. I don't know why the AI, once you are allied, makes its bad decisions. So Hartman Alessandro is uh, our relief force. There are some mercenaries coming to the relief of the garrison. And uh, the enemy is now at the gates. The enemy siege tower has reached our walls. Let grave tidings! Our enemy are at the gates! So a very depleted cavalry is skirmishing back and abandoning the walls. I have a unit of the walls there that is still delaying the enemy. And so I had promised to um, show a siege and this was one of the most interesting sieges I was able to film during uh, the campaign and so the Milanese are slowly approaching they're trying to uh, gate cross the front gate which is bizarre and their cavalry has found its way among the enemy units and uh, they are now fighting to the death. I think they've uh, been killed. There's some infantry and crossbowmen approaching as well as cannons. And instead of firing at the enemy, they are trying to push through the enemy and get through the gate and join my units which are inside. It's totally... <laughs> it's totally broken. Uh, how can you do this? So here's the artillery. Instead of firing at the enemy, they're <laughs> trying to get through the enemy. Through the enemy the general's bodyguard. <laughs> to get into the disease of machine city. So here yeah, now they've been massacred by the enemy general's bodyguard. Uh, it's just hopeless. The AI how is the AI fighting when it's your ally? And so it looks like uh, the, the um, uh, balance of power is even. But if you consider the Milanese are just suiciding their army, and the strongest force is on its way, still in the lower uh, half of the, of the map. I mean, this is not really even. It's very close at the moment. If they manage to charge in, you know, they're already through the gate. I'm gone. So the Milanese is still insisting, instead of fighting the enemy, they just trying to gate crash. So I brought some uh, missile units here and they're firing at the enemy. Unfortunately, the French have put crossbowmen on the walls and they are massacring my mounted crossbowmen. So mounted crossbowmen are falling like flies and so they are skirmishing out of range at the moment and uh, most of the French army is now in the town gone through the main gate the Milanese now are outside besieging our enemy who has just besieged us and uh, so in order to delay the enemy cavalry, knowing that the AI attacks to their cavalry first, I put some 
uh, Pikeman there. Bizarrely, uh, these this unit is uh, pirates. They are pistoliers uh, and uh, have swords as a secondary weapon. They've somehow managed to get past those pikemen. Uh, here are the few units that I have. They're arranged in the central plaza. The, the, there's some uh, hand gunners here in the lower part of this picture. On the right and the left are some uh, spearmen and halberdiers. I have no pikemen at this point, but there are some pikemen hurrying up. There's a small unit of pikemen holding here the enemy. I saw the enemy general's bodyguard have charged the pikemen. Uh, what a mistake to make. So the enemy AI also makes mistakes. Units move out! So the enemy general is fighting valiantly and foolishly, you can see him here. He's very bloodied. I pray the course of this battle changes, because defeat seems almost certain. Our pikemen are holding their ground. They're mercenary pikemen, so no big loss if they die. We'll save our treasury somehow. They are hard to kill, these pikemen, and they are good, good uh, soldiers. So just a handful of them are holding the enemy cavalry back, and they're doing something very useful because the reinforcements are taking forever to arrive. And so the enemy here managed to sneak a cavalry unit uh, through one of the side streets, and they've attacked our flank. And so all our spear and uh, halberd units now fighting them. One spear unit has already arrived from the reinforcements. And a cover unit managed to get through those pikemen at the front. And they've charged our hunt gunners here. They've been caught in melee with our spearmen. It's a very messy and desperate fight around here. Only intervention by the Almighty Lord or a military genius can bring us victory from this disgrace. I'm desperate for that uh, rebolt tour, as you can see in the lower part. Of it. It's taking forever, it's at the very, very back stage last green arrow approaching the town center. And other units have now arrived. There are some mercenary swordsmen and uh, the pikemen are hiring up some, merc some mercenary spearmen or you know, some light spearmen that uh, already joined the fighting. It's a total mess around here. Luckily, uh, the enemy is attacking only with uh, cavalry. So the infantry is still lagging behind, and those few mercenary pikemen at the front are still holding their ground. Units in this mode have very high armor, so they are hard to kill. And these melees just take on, take forever. So there's a very tense fighting in the city center. Our mercenary ball is still on its way. Uh, the mercenary pikemen are still running. Uh, dear, those uh, forlorn hope pikemen. Only intervention by the Almighty Lord or a military genius can bring us victory from this disgrace. Our general is now caught in the melee with some enemy cavalry. Some of 
some of the handgunners managed to pull off a few shots and they've broken one of the enemy cavalry units. There's some infantry now approaching as well as the enemy general. We really have to somehow get ourselves organized. This is chaos in the town center. So the enemy general, the enemy general's bodyguard uh, charged some spearmen. They are looking for trouble. Our general is trying to contain some of the enemy cavalry. Here finally are those mercenary swordsmen. So they will help defend the town center against the enemy infantry approaching. And here you can see on the left, finally, those ray bolts. Unfortunately, I cannot deploy them now because the uh, Central Plaza is full of enemy cavalry, and the enemy general's bodyguard tries to charge through the plaza to attack the uh, mercenary rebel. Oh, that sneaky move! So now it's been caught in melee. Let's see if he survives. We're still holding the uh, balance of power is even as you can see from the right hand upper right hand corner I pray the course of this battle changes because defeat seems almost certain and I'm trying now to place the uh, uh, gunpowder units and the other units in some sort of U shape formation so they can start defending the plaza properly. Our oh, general's bodyguard is caught in melee with the enemy general's bodyguard. And uh, I better pull him out, we don't want him to die. The enemy cavalry is still attacking our spearmen, which is a lucky thing. I'm desperately trying to rearrange the uh, handgunners who have already taken heavy casualties. There were a handful of them and they already suffered casualties. And so we now have to rely on the mercenary ray bolt when I can deploy it. I wish that one last unit would break and leave a plaza. La Piazza di Genoa. Come on, guys, break. Break, god damn Come on. So. Only intervention by the Almighty Lord or a military genius can bring us victory from this disgrace. Bring in slowly and carefully rebolts. Okay, the infantry has broken, but enemy cavalry has reappeared. The rebolts are moving into place. And I'm redeploying once again the hand gunners. Started fire now. Finally the enemy cavalry has moved off and finally we're about to form the U shape and defend the central plaza.
Okay, so here's the uh, cavalry that was commissioned outside. They are looking for routing units. And there is one unit there that has routed, but it's too close to the walls, too dangerous to attack. And the enemy general finally, Anser Dulac, has been slain. Some enemy pikemen have made it to the central plaza and they are now engaged in melee with our spearmen and swordsmen. Spearmen in this mode are not particularly good, they're a light garrison unit. Uh, the pikemen are quite strong. They are armed only with pikes, which is right, I think. They're mostly for pikes. If you want swordsmen, you can have swordsmen such as these mercenary swordsmen mixed with the pikemen. Our specialists. Uh, usually, pikemen are not really trained to fight with swords, although they carry the sword sometimes. So, we are reforming our shape and our musketeers well our hand gunners are fighting are firing at the enemy pikemen hopefully they will break So the enemy pikemen are in melee with our swordsmen and finally they break being under fire from our hand gunners. Swordsmen, please come back. And so now mercenary rebels are about to fire. What? And finally, we can defend the central plaza with all our might. So it's taken nearly half the time for the battle. It's about 30 minutes for the reinforcements to arrive from the lower left-hand corner of the map to the uh, central plaza. Battle could have been lost. You need to move out. You need to move out. So now the enemy infantry is trying to get into the plaza, but they have been fired at by. The Ribbolt as well as Hand Gunners. And here's uh, some fight on one of the side streets. An enemy unit of pirates have tried to sneak and attack our flank. The side street is held by some swordsmen and some cavalry, some gondotieri have attacked their rear and they are broken and taken prisoners. Enemy pikemen are approaching the central plaza under fire from our rebels who've nearly expanded their ammunition and our hand gunners who still have plenty of ammunition. French pikemen fortunately break before they make it into the plaza and our swordsmen uh, chase them down and uh, the enemy pikemen have been bagged out so some of them have gone in this direction, some of them have stayed in the central plaza 
and our swordsmen are back down too. They cannot decide which way to go, <laughs> so they go first towards the street, then back towards the plaza, then towards the street. Anyway, and so um, and there is a unit of enemy, Arcabuzius, I think, on the right. They're trying to fire at our swordsmen as our swordsmen are cutting down the broken French pikemen. Finally, the French pikemen decide to run for their lives. Our swordsmen attack the enemy Archibusius. The Archibusius are holding their ground they have uh, decent morale and good defense, uh, have good defense skill, and of course they can fight with swords, they can fight back with the swords. They have probably decent discipline, at the same time they are also firing their archibuses. Archibuses are going to have a morale sapping effect on our swordsmen who break. So the balance of power is still even. Of course, most of the losses were the Milanese, so that's not too worrying. And our general now is about to charge those pesky enemy Archibusias. And charge the enemy Archibusias, die to a man. But they wouldn't break. died before breaking and those pikemen are still routing there are not very many of them left uh, nonetheless there are some but the enemy now is at the end of their strength they have some uh, missile units on the walls and at this point uh, I think I skipped part of the battle uh, some um, of our melee units attack those missile units of the walls. The uh, musketeers are moving forward, the hand gunners. The general is about to charge some enemy um, missile units there. I think they are close to the so that's the skipped part of the battle, so we'll skip to the end. The victory! See. Praise the Almighty! Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight! We must push our advantage! So the last enemy unit breaks. And some of those crossbowmen that were on the walls, and maybe they were Gascon archers, they are now fighting to the death. So that was um, to give you an idea of um, how sieges uh, pan out in the Italian wars mode. They can be bloody affairs and uh, getting in relief force uh, into the battle takes forever because units have movement modifiers so they move slower than usual and it takes forever reinforcements to this get to where you want. This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. So, it was a very bloody battle. The Milanese died. Our uh, mercenary ball did okay. Uh, the uh, uh, hand gunners did well. So that was um, a close victory and a lot of battles in the mode 
in the early part especially were close victories. Yes. So the enemy refused to ransom the prisoners and uh, they die. There's still a few Milanese left. So clear victory. Klar Sieg. So here are the results again. Our Calabrian mercenaries did well. And uh, thank you for watching.